nine years ago, we were supposed to do Q&A videos, but then, like, Fanime came up, and suddenly everything became more important than the Internet. I know. That shit happens. So, uh, we're going to do our, our Q&A video. Um, you know the videos, so you know that there will be a cat at some point. Currently, it stumps McKenzie over here. He's been very, very naughty these past couple days. You'd be nice to your sister. I see you eyeing her. <laughs> Wait. But, anyway, um, we're also going to introduce you to Hershey. And Adam. I hate that thing. Don't listen to her. She really loves him. I keep thinking it's the cat at night. And it pecked me in the head when I was still. But anyway, and it tried to rip you apart with your grill, but that's because it's really fashion. Anyway, back on to the topic. We're going to do the Q&A video. And hopefully we'll have, like, a new cosplay music video type thing. CMV. Yeah. Uh, because we just got a new system. Sony Vegas is ahead of it. So, hopefully, um, we'll see some of that soon. Don't even think about it, so. But anyway, um, let's start. Alright, our first question is from both of us. And, uh, what is our favorite wig? And for which cosplay? I'll let you go ahead and go first. Um, my favorite wig, which I haven't, like, debuted this cosplay or anything, but it's this one, which is my Nessie wig. Uh, I'm excited to wear that, just so you know, I'm talking about Nessie from Twilight, oh no. <laughs> um, but my beanie one is a close second, which is the one with the black and spiky with the long bang. Uh, my favorite is her L and BB wig, which I got to use for Dark Walter and Young Walter from Helsing. Uh, it's probably my favorite, it's the most easy to style and easy to wear. It doesn't itch. Is favorite contact lenses and for which cosplay? Um, mine are the solid blue ones I wear for seal because my eyes are really dark, so blue ones don't really show up until I get something really solid that can cover the darkness. So, I like those. My favorite are my white cat contacts. They're used for my Kiva cosplay. They're really comfortable and they don't tilt or turn like my green cats do for snake. Next one is favorite shoes for cosplay and for which cosplay? Um, mine are my Hugo sandals because they're woven and they're really comfortable to walk around in. Mine are my black dress shoes. I use them for Sebastian and Claude and Jasper and a few other ones that I can't remember at the time. Uh, next one is favorite overall cosplay and why? Well, of course, it's hands down. <laughs> Mine's Misa's Sickle Outfit from the Volume 4 cover of Death Note, because uh, it's the most intricate one I've done, and it has the most detail, and everyone keeps asking me where I got the spells at, but I mean, <laughs> so, there you go. Next one is least favorite cosplay and why? Um, I'm going to say she, just because the wig gets everywhere. It's only about 48 years old. It's bad when you trip on your own wig. <laughs> My least favorite is Tudor Sebastian. That coat kills me. You see what he does? No. Excuse me one moment. You can continue. I'll be right back. Okay. Kitty's being put in timeout. Our next question is favorite cosplay makeup. Mine is Jacob Black. There's a lot of makeup to put on, and it's a lot of fun to wear. Interesting to see how different I really do look. I forgot what I was talking about. What's your favorite cosplay makeup? My kitty was getting away with the sewing machine hat, so... Oh, yeah. Um, favorite cosplay makeup. Um... Doll, because it takes like nine years to put on, but it looks all pretty and spiffy and stuff, and... Yay. <laughs> but 
next one is dream cosplay. I have a lot of them. I couldn't list just one. I, I couldn't stomach listing just one. Uh, I did list a few. Trunks from Dragon Ball GT. Barb from Kurosha Suji. Vincent Phantom High from Kurosha Suji. Tulio from The Road to El Dorado, which I am a huge fan of. I'm a nerd. Leave me alone. Uh, Ron from Kim Possible. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> and Slade, along with a bunch of other ones that just couldn't fit on the list. Alright. Oh, like you're one to talk. I know. I, I like my dream cosplay is Emily from Corpse Bride and Robin from Teen Titans. So. Cosplay <laughs> pet peeves. <laughs> it's the damn question. Oh, right. Okay. Um. My cosplay pet peeve is mostly when people don't put effort into it. I don't mean like I couldn't afford to get a wig or I couldn't afford this or that. I appreciate effort for everything. It's just like when people show up like in jeans, a shirt, platforms, and a green wig and say they're elves. I yeah, but it's obvious that they haven't put any effort into the costume and just threw shit together last minute. It's kind of insulting. Probably the yeah, representation how you see it, but it, it can get a little bit annoying at conventions when you want to take a picture of somebody and they're kind of. I don't know how to explain it, but it, it, it's aggravating. <laughs> Yours. Mine, I'd have to say, my biggest pet peeve is when cosplayers gender bend a character because they don't want to crossplay. As somebody who has crossplayed before, and being a guy, we get a lot more crap than girls do. It's really annoying to see people do that just because they don't want to bind their chest down or they don't want to be called a lesbian. You guys aren't going to get called lesbians. It's really ridiculous. Um, other than that, I'd have to say it's shortly followed by S and J's that don't exist. Because it's just been so overdone. Really tired of seeing it. Next, next question. Next is, do you make your own cosplays? If you do, how long does it take? I try to at least make most of my cosplays, or at least edit clothing. I'm not as good a seamstress as her. Bad at sewing. Very, very bad. Um, so I do my best with what I have. It's also a lot cheaper to buy clothes and edit them. Uh, but as for time, it really depends on the cosplay and how lazy I'm being at the moment. Um, I make like 99% of mine. Um, obviously Twilight and certain Death Note ones I buy because I don't see the point of spending more money to make it than to just buy it if it's so simple. Like L shirts um, and jeans and stuff like that. But the rest of it I make, like all my curl costumes I made. Um, as far as how long it takes, some take a day, a week. Doll took about three months. Yeah. <laughs> so... I'm sure there's going to be a rent reference in there somewhere, so... Um, yeah. <laughs> what do you use for blood? We get this question all the time. Both of us do. <laughs> we use Cinema Effect Stage Blood. It's great movie quality fake blood. You can get for fairly cheap on all, at Halloween stores online. It's a little more pricey than, say, paint. But it's so worth it. Next is, where do you get your wigs? Um, Epic Cosplay is an amazing wig place. Um, Cosplay.com has their little link in there because they teamed up with them to create their own line. Epic Cosplay. Epic Cosplay. They have great wigs. They're really, really fair prices. They have sales all the time. Like, every time I go into Costco.com, there's like a 10% off coupon for something, so it's really great. Um, luckily, we go to a lot of cons where Epic Cosplay is actually there selling things. I got this on sale, and I was all happy. Mostly, I get my wigs from Epic Cosplay through Cosplay.com, or sometimes at the conventions we're at. This is my matte wig. It's a great matte wig. It's never given me any issues. They're really easy to style. Really easy to alter by trimming. They get, they've got 
countless colors, pretty much any color you'll ever need. Uh, I also get some at a few local wig shops, mostly USA wigs. They're a wig shop here in town. That's about it, though. Um, next one is, what kind of camera do you use? Which, uh, we use a Nikon Coolpix L100. It's an epic camera. The one that's thing. recording this right now. I, I love Nikon. It's a great camera. It's very easy to use. Takes outstanding pictures. Uh, the next one is, what is the most uncomfortable cosplay you've ever done? Uh, mine's Joe from First Angel. I'm sure a lot of you don't know what that is. But, look it up on the internet. But anyway, uh, it shows off a lot of skin, which, for me, someone who thinks that I'm way too skinny, very uncomfortable to wear. Um, but I love the character, so I do it. Um, it can get pretty hot, despite the lack of clothing. That's because there's pleather in very bad places. Also, it gives you, like, this insane wedgie when you wear the underwear. And you can't just, like, pick it, because you're just out in public and everything. So, you know, you can't really win there. And it's like no one notices it. You just see some guy going, dude, what's up with her ass crack? Something like that. Oh, by the way, this is Smoky. This ADD right there. But anyway... Huge wedgie. It's, it's very uncomfortable. So there you go. <laughs> uh, for me, I'd have to say it was my Shippuden Tamari outfit. It was the first time I ever cross-played in public. It was very uncomfortable. I didn't want to do the cosplay. I lost a bet. It was not fun. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then some people had random questions for me. Um that they probably want answered. Um, I did a different Q&A video for this, but our computer ate it. Yeah, so that was that. But um, this one was my favorite question out of all of them. Um, I think it was from Alice in Wonderful Land, but I really don't remember. But you have Lizzie as an icon, so I loved it. But do you mind? No. Okay. So the question was, if you had to choose between sex with a bunny or sex with an octopus, which would you choose? Yeah. Um, and I thought about it, actually. Because I thought about, well, like, if you were with the bunny, first of all, it would make, like, that yipping noise from Spyro, probably. And it would just be, like, a total turn-off just to go, yip, 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 yip. And then afterwards, like, you can, like, cuddle with it, but it's going to be terrified of you and probably bite you. And nobody likes that. Um, on the other hand, the octopus can go for a long time because it has, like, all those arms and stuff. And it's in, like, almost every hentai raping somebody. So, you know, loving tentacles anyway, I, I would pick the octopus, yes. And I call him Big Octo in Bed. That anyway. Unneeded. I know. <laughs> Someone asked, why are you so awesome? I'm not... I just make you think I'm awesome, but it... She yeah. uses her Jedi mind powers. Yep. That's pretty much all there is to that one, though. Um, this one I know is from Star Dragon. By the way, I love you for those gloves. But anyway. Um, you oh asked, my God. You asked, how do you make your fanfic so good? That's a matter of opinion. Um... I just practice a lot and I a lot. talent. <laughs> um, I, I'm glad you like them and everything. I, I usually get either I hate them or I love them or somebody who doesn't really give you a review. They just give you a little emoticon and that's kind of annoying. But what was up with that chick who was like saying that you were out of character and you weren't? I don't know, you know, I never got a response back from her, probably because she lives in a house with nine million kids and has nothing better to do because her husband left her because she was crack addicted. Anyway, so just practice, I guess, is the best on that one. Um, someone asked, what do you use to edit your photos? Um, I use Paint Shop Pro X. I don't really edit the photos too much. I edit lighting, sometimes a lot of effects, I try not to go overboard. Some of them I do on purpose, but... I used GIMP. It was free, it was online, it was convenient. Again, don't really edit them too much. Just fix little blemishes, 
change the lighting, brighten it a little bit. Other than that, they're pretty much out of the camera. This song was also from Star Dragon. Will you cosplay as Rose Tyler? Maybe. Working on it. I'll tell you what, if you go to Anime Bonsai this year, I will be Rose Tyler, okay? But you have to go there. Incentive. <laughs> um, and that's it on that one. Um, so, I hope you liked the Q&A video. And, um, again, hopefully we'll have more videos up for you guys to watch and be amused by our, our failure. Speaking of which, if they've held on this long, what is our next video coming up? Tell them about it. Give them a nice little preview. Well, originally we were going to do a Seba Seal one, but, um, my lamp broke that we kind of needed for some shots. It's a light bulb. We'll yeah. replace it soon. Yeah. Um, so we're going to do that one, but because we're kind of like trying to do things that we already have for right now, um, it might be Claude and Eloise. And he has a fangirl train. <laughs> so, it'll probably be Claude and Eloise for Seba Seal, but not sure on that one. But, um... If you like Kuro, you'll you'll probably enjoy it. We'll be doing other ones. We'll probably have some funny ones coming up, too. Because we promised you guys we'd do a Kuro on craft video. Um, and that's it. Bye-bye.